Hey everybody, this is Brad from the Johnson Small Engines, the one hand mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Working on a John Deere LA-105. Today I'm going to show you how to level the mower deck, in my opinion. First thing, I have the mower deck off right now, and the first thing you want to check, I know a lot of people, they level their mower decks out, and it's after they hit something and had to put a new set of blades on it. The most important thing that you want to look for, if you hit something and you put a new set of blades on, is right here. Okay, you want to make sure that your blades come by each other nice and even side to side. Okay, now if that ha if that's even like it is here, like these are pretty much almost perfect. You're going to get a good even cut right in the center. Okay, and always turn one blade over. Make sure you're using two blades, the, the, both sides of the blade, each one, and just flip them over and make sure they all come by, all four sides come by evenly. If they don't, like you can have one coming by evenly and have a bent shaft. And if you have a bent shaft, the other side will come by like uneven. So always check all four sides of the blades that come by even in the center. That is the most important thing that you need to look for before you level the deck. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put this back on the machine. We're gonna do tire pressure and we'll get right back with you. Okay, so the mower deck is on. I now have it sitting on a metal plate that I use in my shop. Now, I would just suggest finding a, a very smooth concrete surface if you have one. Um, asphalt will work, but it has to be very smooth. So I, I, uh, this, my shop floor is asphalt, so I brought in this very flat piece of steel plate just so I can level mower decks on it. Um, so just find a place that's real level. Now I want to show you the tools that we're going to use as far as getting this thing um, leveled. And the main thing is you need a air pressure tire gauge, you need an air chuck, and you need air to uh, inflate your tires. I use a low pressure tire gauge that goes from like very small in increments, zero to 10. You're only gonna have, um, this goes to zero to 60, but you're only gonna be using the front tires are normally 14 PSI and the rear tires are 10. Um, this is how we're going to adjust the mower deck level right here, this is how we're gonna gauge it. These, this is actually a, a Stenz product. You can get this from John Deere. You can get it from Stenz. Uh, part number here is a 750-442. Uh, I will put a link in the description if you want to purchase it through, um, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find it on Amazon or you can probably just find it on inter interweb somewhere. Um, but I'll put this on a link uh, in the description. Okay, so we're, let's go ahead and do tire pressure. Now, as far as wondering what tire pressure your tires are just go to the, the sidewall of your tire and I'm not sure if this is going to mess up the camera or not but it says here inflate to 10 psi max normally when we're doing tire pressure in the shop here we will max them out to the 10 psi just because normally they'll go down a little bit during time but we want to have them even we put them at 10 uh, for those out there that think that um, after they did the tire pressure and drove the tractor it was hurting their back uh, I had a couple comments saying that, um, how do you soften the suspension? Well, the only way to soften the suspension would be to lower the tire pressure. But just make sure if you do that, lower it evenly. Uh, front tires here are, again, look on your sidewall, and it'll give you the maximum inflation. It says right here, maximum inflation is 14 PSI. Uh, we will put 14 PSI in this today. And just make sure that your tires are even before you start. Again, with the uh, air chuck that we're going to use, I'm going to go back to the rear tire here, and we're just going to inflate it. This guy here, we're going to probably put to check to see what it's at first. And all right, so this guy had literally two psi in it, and it doesn't even look flat. See, that's so important that you check your tire pressure because if you don't check the tire pressure. Once your body weight gets on the tractor and you start cutting, you can get a bad cut just because it will go down. All right, so now it's showing 11. I'm going to bring it back down to 10. All right, so we're at 10 right there. And we did the other tires already. I just wanted to show you. Now, basically, you want to go around and do all the other tires, 10 on the other side and, and uh, 14 in the front. Okay, now, if you notice, now, this, this machine here, we put the mower deck back on. Now, the mower deck is all the way in the highest position. And to me, this mower deck is still sitting pretty darn low at the highest position. That means that the adjustments here, okay, we're going to have to raise all these adjustments up a lot to get this mower to come up a little bit higher 
then it should be sitting right now at the highest position. This machine should come up a lot higher. So we have an adjuster here, okay? You have your front adjuster, which is right here, okay? Where is it at here? Right here. And I'm pretty sure, I forgot to tell you, I think these are 15 millimeter wrench. Um, I'm gonna to make sure there's a 15 millimeter. I'm pretty sure it is. And then we have the other adjuster, which is over here. Okay, let me get a wrench real quick. All right, try it. 15 millimeter. Yeah, 15 millimeter is exactly it. Okay, so 15 millimeter wrench. And you see all the threads on here. All right, so we're gonna raise this up quite a bit just to, I wanna get this deck up a little bit higher. Uh, normally the mowers are a little bit higher than this as far as when you bring them all the way up to, uh, all, all the way up on the highest position. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually lower the mower deck all the way down. And then we're gonna try to evenly just adjust these all the way up. I wanna probably go up about a quarter inch. And the reason why I'm doing this is because when this mower deck was all the way in the up position, it just wasn't high enough. I didn't, I didn't like that low. And then you gotta come around to the front. And you gotta do the same thing on the front. And now these front ones are extremely tough because they have a lock nut on them. And they're gonna feel really, really tough. Now when you do level the mower deck, you wanna make sure that your side to side, which is the adjustments on each side of the mower are even, okay? This front one will do the front to back Okay, we're gonna go on the other side here. And raise this up. The front to back, usually the way I do it is, I want the front to back, not necessarily even. I mean, yeah, you can make it totally even front to back. I actually, about max quarter inch low in the front. So if your adjustment front to back, and that's what I'm talking about is the front of the blade to the back of the blade, you want to be no more than a quarter inch down in the front and I'll show you that soon. I'm just trying to get this deck higher and then we'll start leveling it out. All right, and then you bring it back up. Okay, so now it's up a lot more and I feel more comfortable about leveling it out now. So now the deck in the highest position is still not as high I can still put a little bit more height than that, and I'm gonna do that real quick, and we'll get right back with you. Okay, so I did need to take a little bit of time to get this mower deck up as high as you see it here. I'm sure, hopefully, you can see the physical height difference from when we started. Now, the mower deck is all the way up, okay? And you should be able to raise your mower deck that high. Now, I do know that if you adjust these too high, when you go to lift your mower deck up all the way, it'll kind of bottom out like, right? Let's just say one notch before it's high. Like if, it, if you can't go any higher right there, you over adjusted the mower deck and it's up too high. So you should be able to go all the way up in your upper notch and then the deck is as high as it is. If you bottom out and you go to where it bottoms out, well then you just have to lower the adjustment so you can get it all the way up into the highest position. Hopefully that made sense to you, but you can over adjust that and it will not allow the handle to come all the way up to the highest position. Okay, so now we are at the highest position and now we want to level the mower deck. Again, like I said, use a 15 millimeter wrench. I'm gonna bring it down to where I'm comfortable leveling it, which is, I mean, I don't really go by these numbers because the numbers really don't match up after you had the tractor for so many years. This tractor has been around for, I think, 12 years. And so it has the sag up and down from everything just wear and tear apart. So I just go by what it looks like. And also when you're cutting grass, just cut grass until you see that you're happy with where the position is here. And uh, sometimes I'll even mark it with a magic marker, like a silver marker, so you know that I like to cut right here, just mark it and just keep it there. Now also, if it, you go back one week after you adjust the mower deck and you're wondering why it cut great the week before, always check tire pressure again. If you have a tire that's giving you an issue, you wanna either get it fixed or inflate it, but I suggest repairing it correctly, which means either put a tube in it. I definitely recommend put tubes in these. They are tubeless from the factory, so you can put tubes in them and take care of your flat issues. 
Um, but keep your tires even, that'll keep your mower deck cutting even. Okay, so as far as adjusting the mower deck now, I, I, I lowered it a little bit. This is the tool that we're using here. It goes by cutting height increments here, and it looks like everything's by uh, the inch or the eighth inch and then half inch there, and it just has numbers, okay? So what you wanna do is, when you're doing side to side, okay, the blades underneath, you're gonna have to be careful. One, if you have sharp blades, don't cut yourself, but you wanna come, the blades gotta be side to side, so the blades gotta be facing this way, all right? So you wanna have the blade to do side to side, the blade has to be facing straight across the mower deck, which it is here right now, and then you're gonna put this end of this guy here underneath on the blade. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this or not, but you put it up to the blade. If you're on a flat level surface, you come over here and you're gonna read your adjustment. Now what I do is when I read the adjustment, I actually take my finger and I press real hard right here on the arm so it doesn't move. Then I turn it sideways and I bring it out. And right there, it's a little bit, it was a little bit over three, okay? So we wanna to go to the other side and see where the other side is at. And the other side's a little bit easier because you can lift the chute up. And with these, these guys here, Sometimes these won't come up. You do have to pull these out a little bit and then pull them up and then they'll come all the way up with these metal flaps. Find your other blade, turn it sideways. You want it straight across, okay? Then you're gonna put this underneath again. And I'm holding the chute up with my one hand, well, with my arm, not my hand. And then you're gonna put it, you're gonna line this up here and make sure you're good. And then hold your finger on this, pull it out. Now, geez, that's about as good as you get. I mean, that's just a little above three. So side to side is actually like pretty much perfect. Let me just make sure I check this again. Yeah, so we're actually, you know what? It's a little bit off. So it's a little bit on the high side. So we have to come down with a tick. Just a little bit has to come down. Now, when you adjust this to come down, okay. You come over to your adjuster right here. 15 millimeter wrench. We're gonna take that down a little bit. Okay, so remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So counterclockwise makes it go down. All right, and then come back under here. Check this again. Okay, we're going, we wanna come, actually we wanna go down a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna come down a little bit more. And some of these adjustments are big and some of the adjustments are small. Let's try this now. I also, I also rocked it. I rocked the mower deck back and forth a little bit just to get the adjustment set up a little bit. All right, so we're getting closer. We're right, right at the three. We're a little bit above that. I'm gonna go around and check my other one again. And then you may have to reposition the blade just to make sure that your blade didn't go anywhere. And you're gonna put it underneath here, bottom of the blade. Okay, so this, you can see that, we're pretty much even. All right, that's about as good as you get. Now doing side to side is done. All right, so we wanna do front to back. Now front to back means that the tip from the blade here and a tip from the blade here. That's what they call front to back. It can be even if you want it. You can be up to about a quarter inch down in the front, which is fine, but you wanna check the front. So we have to move this blade to the front. So you'll have the backs back here, right? And then the front will be up here. And we're gonna come back here and check the back side. And I'm gonna take this out a little bit hard with the camera here, but. Okay, so we're a little bit, a little bit high in the back of three and like an eighth. And then we're gonna come up to the front and see how far down it, it went, if it's not down or even. Now that was three and an eighth. Okay, so this is right there, it is actually right before three, so it's like, two and three quarters. So the back was here, okay? And then the front was up here. So we were a little bit high, we're a little over three there in the back, and then we were right here about two and three quarters, almost three in the front. So that means that we were down just about an eighth to a quarter inch, which is perfectly fine, okay? But if you do need 
to move this up or down, which we have it pretty much set perfectly there, but your front to back adjustment is the nut right here. Okay, now this one here, you would tighten it to make the front come up and you would loosen it to make the front go down. All right, our deck is pretty much as level as it gets. And just remember, you tighten this up to make the front come up, loosen it to make the front go down. And I would suggest level or up to a quarter inch down in the front is fine. But this is pretty much how you adjust the mower deck level on an LA-105. It'll also be good for doing the L100 series up into the old ones. They didn't have the side adjusters. They were slide adjusters, not the nuts. Uh, the D100 series also is kind of the same way to, to uh, level the deck. I'll probably put all those um, numbers up on this. It's pretty much the same for a lot of these John Deere's. I hope this helped everybody learn how to adjust the mower deck. So I hope it wasn't too much information. Uh, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please share this video and thank you for watching.